Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Born of Bread. Last time we left off, we finished all of the quests here in this area. So we're finished with everything everywhere, except for here. And I realize this final quest here is probably just the main quest, or... No, it's still saying... Okay, so because... Yeah, I was wondering if it only lists it... Like, like if the main quest is the final one I have to complete, and then it'll be 18 out of 18. But no, it is just how many quests you found. Because this one hasn't actually been completed yet. So, yeah, once we return to Professor Rose... Um, I think we just have one more quest to find. I have absolutely no idea where it could possibly be hiding. But, uh... Hopefully we find it, uh, without too much trouble. I feel like I scrubbed... Royal Town pretty hard, but I don't know. There's there's probably somewhere that I missed, so let's uh go ahead and get back and talk to Rose, I suppose. Maybe we'll even possibly get enough money to buy some of the uh cards that we're missing this episode. So I don't know. I'm still shocked we didn't get a reward for uh what's it called? Um Turning in all of the, uh, salamanders, besides, you know, this, the SP, but... I mean, I don't know, maybe I did miss some, I... <laughs> I don't know, there's not a really a good way to tell, so, who knows. Alright, Rose, hello. There it is, boom. Say, you defeated a tainted creature in the Forest of Roots, the Holy Highlands, and the Frosty Flats, haven't you? Kingdom is in your debt, little heroes. I'll make sure Queen Beatrice hears of your efforts. More importantly, you gather data which will be invaluable to my research. And my sincerest thanks. Oh, and I want you to have something rather special to me. It's a weapon I used to keep the hostile critters at bay during my expeditions. Laser pointer? 20 volt batteries used by Professor Rose in her heyday to repel aggressive creatures. I don't need it anymore. Truth be told, I don't have the courage I used to. You'll make far better use of it than I. Thanks, Professor. We'll take good care of it. What it's worth, I think you're very brave. Courage isn't just about fights, although I do love them. Sometimes it's about knowing when to avoid them. Yeah, Yagi's right, Professor. That's good stuff. Need to write that down. Thank you, little heroes. I won't forget this. Okay, so that... Yeah, so we're still missing one quest here. I still need one more, but that is done. So I just gotta find out where that is. Also, we gotta check out this new weapon that I just got. Um... Laser pointer. A laser pointer. Two mechanical damage, three times on any target. Well, it's definitely replacing that, because that's pretty damn good. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I would venture to say that's that's definitely better than the remote drone. Yeah, the remote drone can probably be replaced now that we have the laser pointer. Because the remote drone's also just hard to land. So, what do I want to put in its place? Probably the axe of the log, just so I have this type of damage. Cool. Alright, well, um, I'm off to hunt for quests. Wish me luck. Ooh, I see, um, a treasure chest over here that we haven't actually gotten. Uh, so that's cool. We will grab that really quickly. I just gotta kill you with the old one's fork. Bye-bye. And there's a little bit of XP for me, too. Um, I came back to the sewers because this is basically the one place I haven't searched um, for that stuff. There is a grapple point here, so I'm at least getting something for coming all the way back over here. Um, that was a weird interaction. Okay, that was weird. There we go, though. So that gets me over here. And what you got? A uh, pallet for Alfie. Oh, it actually reset my pallet I had on you last time. Well, I guess that's fine if uh, I got that one. Hey, green, blue and green. I still like your default look the most, I think. But uh, it's cool having another one for you. So, yeah, I don't really think there's much else here right now, but I'm gonna keep looking. Hopefully we run into a character. Yep, here it is, because we never actually came back here and explored this place. When we did this stuff for the main story, we didn't actually get to explore the entire sewers. So this is where 
the enemy was, or uh, the final quest was, and there's quite a few things to do here actually as well. Like we haven't explored most of this area, because yeah, we walked into that center platform um, over here, and then that was it. We just got we just got sent back. I didn't do all this stuff up there, or any of that stuff. We just got dropped. I completely forgot about this. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, um, that's where we need to go and what we need to do. Um, I know I can make this jump. I did it earlier. I know I can make this jump. Did it earlier. No, I can. You know what? Let's fine. Let's 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 go this way because this is the way it clearly wants me to go. Fine. I'll do it this way. All right. And the character I need to talk to is right down there. I just saw them. Hello! Final quest in the game! Look at us! How you doing? Hey, hey, Small Fry. Can you help me? Uh, small- calling me Small Fry just makes me think of, uh... Uh, Splatoon. So... Or, um... Uh... Wind Waker, as well. Oh, hey, Small Fry! Yeah, this is embarrassing. This morning I went for a quick, refreshing sewer swim, and when I got out of my can- I mean, I got out, my can was gone. Like, yeah, this one's spared. It's way too small. Been hunting for a new can all morning, but there's no one anywhere. This place is totally clean. No, it's not. Either everyone stopped littering their, their trash is wash, isn't washing down to the sewers. My money's on block drains. I think you go whack the pipes a few times, see if anything knocks loose. Sure can, Mr. Fish in a can. Thanks, small fry. The name's Crick. Sure can, Mr. Crick in a can. Okay. So hit the pipes? Like these, I'm guessing? Oh my god. Yeah, anytime there's... A character on screen that has that thing. Weird. When it has the quest marker above their head. I don't know what it's doing, but... Okay. That's done. Is that all of them? No way, that was it. Hello? Because that was like a full... thing. Thanks, Malfred. Place is much better. Good sewer should have a healthy layer of garbage, don't you think? Ah, uh, it stinks. You're too right, it does. Mm, nothing beats the smell of fresh garbage in the morning. Smells like home. Now, how about you grab me a new can to wear? This one is really chafing. Want us to root through all these trash piles? Know what you're thinking. I'm a generous fish. Go enjoy yourselves. And while you're at it, how about you grab me three of the biggest, least dented cans you can find? Give me a few options. This would come this far. Okay, so I had to come get an update. Dirty can. Wait, I just have to hit this stuff? I tried hitting this stuff before and it wouldn't let me do it. I swear it wouldn't let me do it. Okay, maybe I just missed it, but it would suck if you had to talk to the character before that could even happen. Too small, too unfashionable, too perfect. Oh yeah, this is nifty, what a great fit. I look incredible, what do you think? Rad upcycling, dude. Vintage style is the only way to go. Thanks, small fry, you're in this. Ladler, gain one additional attack when using the ladle. I mean, neat, I'm not gonna use that, but neat. What do you have to say? I'd like going to the boiler room tonight. Everyone needs to catch this wave. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, it just like... The game just obliterates itself when... I don't know. It, it, if other people had that issue? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe there's something weird going on. But, yeah. That happens. Uh, alright. So... We're done there. Oh my god. There are extras. There's extra salamanders, so I have not found them all. Oh my god. There are extras. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, what we got? Uh... When out of, a of WP, use HP instead of RP. Interesting. Oh, that was quite the camera pan. Okay, and if I fall down here... What? Okay. Okay, this is the very end of the cave here. Should I hit that? Oh, it did actually do something. It dropped that. I think it did something, at least. Yeah, that's that's wild that I missed, like, this whole area, because the game basically, like, teleports you out of here as soon as you walk into that center area, so you kind of just have to remember to come back. Whoopsie doopsie. It'd be cool if there was, like, a quest that actually requested that you go back here that wasn't in the sewer. Like, if there was someone in Royal Town that was like, could you go investigate this in the sewer? That'd be cool. Latte Chai. 
mean, I don't need it, but cool. It's a new item I've never gotten. I don't use RP, so... Okay, and you're just the one that was hanging out over here. Those enemies are cute. I like their little design. Okay... Ah! And this just links over to you. I think? Wait, could you- wait, could I have just- Oh my god, wait, I could just continue this way? And could have went in here this whole time? Oh, but the bridge would have been down anyway, so it's not like it would have mattered much, but... Alright, that is... Every single quest complete, and I got an extra salamander? Don't know if that's all of them, though. Huh. So I might still be missing one, like, somewhere? I have no idea where, though. That's kind of the issue, but I'm not gonna exhaustingly go through the entire game to find the final one of those. I got an extra one, so I don't know how many extra ones there would be, and there's no telling where it would have been missed. So, we'll just uh, go ahead and stop there. And with that, I believe we are good to go. That is all of the quests that we can do. My characters are fully upgraded. I do not have all of the, all of the color palettes, but... Um, like someone in the comments said, apparently people are having a hard time finding them all. They might be in like a really obscure chest somewhere, or just not in the game yet or something? I don't know. What are those other three slots at the bottom of the screen there, where my running shoes are? What are those for? I can't imagine there were three other passive upgrades I could have gotten that I somehow missed this entire time. But, alright. I honestly think we're good to go. I'm gonna go over here and hit up a save. Pray to Bug Fables. My patron deity. And, uh, yeah, or deities. So, let go. Hit up the save point. And let's be on our way. To the final chapter of the game. So we might, I mean, depending on how long this takes, we could finish it today, but we'll see. We will see. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. Yeah, I need a pair, so. Yeah, there might be like one more salamander out there somewhere. I could see them putting in like two extras just in case you're having a hard time finding some for like your final character upgrade or even more than that. All right. I think we're good. You're who I needed to talk to, right? Or was it? No, it wasn't you. Your dub's brother, right? Have you ever considered entering the llama tournament? Are you fighting? Why would you ask that? I, uh, you... Relax, man, I'm just yanking your chain. Looks like you have the bronze egg on any opponent in the arena. Thanks, man, but I got strong steering in an airship for years, not fighting. It's powerful grip and steering this baby or else the whole crew could go overboard. Top grub as big as you and his sister? Uh, if he still throws out the garbanzo bean dish mom sends him every week. Okay. So I thought I just had to talk to you, but you're not responding to me. Oh, I gotta interact with that. Okay. All systems primed and ready to go. Dublin, you're gonna go uh, come back and be my little mechanical apprentice, huh? And I'm grown another eight feet. Ready for takeoff, you kids all ready to go? Let's go save the world. Digging her up. We're doing it. We have reached in game. I feel the magic around us is getting stronger. Jester must be close. There he is, on the roof of Varroa Castle. He hasn't completed his spell yet, thank goodness. You wanna talk to him? Bring the Komodo in now. I already tried. Sid, Klein, EO, see if you can get through to him. Wait, so there's not a dungeon? There has to be a final dungeon, right? Chester, Chester, we gotta talk, boss. Kinda in the middle of something here, guys. Yeah, that's the thing. Could you stop, maybe? How about we forget this whole thing, eh? Huh? Is the bread boy suckered you guys, too? I don't like that. Eo said... You too? You're all betraying me? On the original spellbook, Chester, it says this spell will consume you. I think I don't know that. That's what it takes to bring everyone back. Chester, your dad was the one who rewrote that spell. Uh, he's the whole reason you'll die if you finish it, hey? I don't know, that can't be true. He... he wouldn't do that to me. You guys are just lying. You want me to fail. Chester, come on. We're your friends. We always have been and we always will be. 
You're all just jealous that I'm gonna be a hero. I'm the one who will save the whole empire. Just like a real prince should. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that looks final dungeony to me. Look at that place. Oh, all around us, it's it's the empire. What the, the evil evilometer is going nuts. There's evil everywhere. What if a tower appears right through the ship? Better land before we crash. Gotta do something. We can't just give up. Jester can't complete the spell, then he can't be absorbed. But Jester doesn't want to stop. We'll have to make him stop, eh? Yeah, fighting solves everything. This guy gets it. House entrance, let's land there. Okie dokie. Expect a rough landing. Whoop, I didn't mean to skip that. Oh yeah, this looks like a massive dungeon. Welcome to wherever this is. Thank you for flying Drago Airlines. Get out there and put a stop to this. I can undo the spell, but I can slow it down and buy us some time. Sid, Klein, lend me your powers. Oh, but there's gonna be a fight. Yeah, if we're here, he's gonna stop Jester. Alfie's got the best shot. Sure, he's always listening to you more than us, Alfie. Ah, oh, jeez. Look, Alfie, you got this. I'm gonna put you back on your regular color palette, I think, because it is the one I like the most, so... There you go, Alfie. Welcome to wherever this is, thank you. Get out there and put a stop- okay, they say the same thing. Okay, and they're not really doing much. And I'm guessing if I hit that, I can take it back? This? Oh, I can just hit it. <laughs> For fun. Ember people! Oh. You can probably kind of read that, maybe? No, I think it is just symbols. I thought it was like, weird, obscured English, but no. I think it is just a bunch of symbols that I don't have any context for. Ugh, I don't understand. Why does he even want this? Jester hated all these people, and they hated Jester too. Hated living here. We used to dream of all the things we do when we got out. And we're finally out, and he wants back in. Maybe he can't imagine another way to be. He needs to know he's fighting someone else's battle, and we're all our own toughest opponents. I don't know that family isn't the only way forward. We gotta make our own choices. Even if he's feeling lost, there's people right here who care about him. Thanks, guys. You're alright, you know? Yeah, you too, but uh, can we get out of here? These ghosts are giving me the heebie jeebies. Ghosts! Uh huh. Can't. Yeah, I can't make out what they could potentially be saying there. It's okay, I'm sure we'll have a second playthrough. Well, no, that's that's spoilers. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Video games where you uh, eventually learn the language and can understand what the uh, enemies are saying. Okay. Yeah, this is Final Dungeony. Is this just gonna be a bunch of moving platforms to get over there? Yeah, because that, that door looks like it could be it. Uh, bonk. <laughs> Oh, The music. And it's the people, yeah. That's not creepy at all. Well, this is cool. I like this. I do wonder if the boss fight's gonna, like, actually be difficult, or... Oh yeah, you did resist that, huh? Dead men tell no tales, rock the boat. Let's rock the boat. There we go. Strong. Yay! And then this will be my final level up. We're definitely getting that. Definitely getting that. Um, ooh, money. Okay. I also realized something. We didn't read uh, the final set of the uh, bestiary stuff from Rose, did we? Um, I'll try to remember to read that. I'll try to remember to read that. Because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do it, like, right now, because I would be scared that, uh, or I don't want people to, you know, be bored by it. I guess it doesn't take that long to read the bestiary entries in this game, so people would just deal with it. Or skip past it. So, money? This looks like a fine location to get some light reading done really quickly. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure we had some new ones here that I have not read about. Um, specifically in the final area. Yeah, these. Alright, quick and nuts. 
This isn't your run-of-the-mill coconut. This one is sentient and determined to injure you. Local legends tell of a disgruntled coconut seller that cursed the palm trees of the lagoon. Some propose to cut them down, but the tourists do love their palm trees. Scorsair? That's a good name. Um, once a particularly eccentric pirate formed a crew entirely of scorpions. He found there was a sting in the tail, however, when the scorpions mutinied. Throwing him to the sharks. Be careful of their sharp tongues and sharper poisonous stings. Crab voyant. These crabs have developed the remarkable evolutionary ability of peering into the future to avoid capture in crab pots. Fortunately, this has made them arrogant, and they now think they rule the shore. Swimmers beware, these claws aren't only for show. These biomechanical things seem to be part of the primeval whale's ecosystem. They used to transport nutrients from one organ to another, but have gone rogue and now attack other living beings. They make bad office workers. Disciplinaries beckon. One of the strangest breeds of slime. The dream slime seems to have gained psychic abilities over the course of many years. Some biologists theorize they got jealous of the crab voyance and wanted creepy penetrating gazes too. Variant of the regular drone, the glutton drone will indiscriminately consume anything in its path, including its colleagues' lunches. Unclear whether it's functioning as intended, but don't let it munch your friends. There we go. All the bestiary entries, red. And that didn't take too long, so... But I always feel like I gotta do that, because I've had people be before like, Oh yeah, I don't, I don't care about the bestiary reading, and... I know a lot of people do, like me, so I, I feel like that's the best way to to balance it, kind of, you know, to, tr to try and keep everyone happy, is to usually have it at the end of videos, but obviously that's not possible here, so... Oh, okay, Yagi, you go here, I see. But yeah, that's why I usually try to save stuff to the end of the video to read when it's that kind of stuff. So... And over here, that was cool. Bonk. It is cool that it plays this music when we're doing this. Um... Okay, so what do I want to use? I think the scriptures would honestly be better. Laser pointer? No, two damage to everyone three times? Ah, oh, but it is ranged. Yeah. Okay, I think the best, the best is just scriptures. It hits all of them. It's slash type damage. Okay, and now I just inferno you dorks. This ability is so strong. There we go. And that's definitely a level up. We have hit max level. Well, we've hit like all of the... Um... We've at least hit all of these that we can get. Maybe I can still level up my WP and stuff, but I think that's all the backpack slots I can get. So, well, this is where you come to get money, jeez. If I put that double money thing on here, we definitely would be able to go get those last cards, but... Uh... Okay. Weapon, have that whole other row available now. Is there one I would want to put in? don't know that there is. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I got all the good ones in already. Is there an element I'm missing? I feel like we got them all. I feel like we've got them all. So, the only thing I can think of is to put in, like, the frost blade, just in case I wanted to target specific enemies with the damage, because the bow... No, that would just be better. I mean, it would at least be a different type of damage, which might be useful. Yeah. Let's go for that, I guess. Different, different type of damage there. And then... Do I want any other things? That just hits the enemy in front. Yeah, I don't think I want any of these other things. And some of them are just too big to fit, so... I think we're good there. I think we're good there. Smack. Well, we are making it over there. There were more things I saw all that was over here. That those more things were at. Okay. Well, there's definitely no reason for me to fight you now. Um. What? There's no way it wants me to. Oh no, that wouldn't work. Maybe Alfie, though? Alfie, does it want me to hit it with you? No, it does not. I think it just wants me to... No, we can't possibly make a jump for it. 
I'll do then. I mean, I guess I can... Uh, what does it want? Huh. Like, I really thought throwing this at it maybe would work. I mean, I just need to get past this one. Let's fight this enemy just so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um... Yeah, they're strong against that. Yeah, I mean, scriptures still really is the best way to go here. With loaf, at least. Let's see if we do still get XP. Maybe you still can increase your WP and stuff. Rock the boat. Such an absurdly strong attack. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it looks like I still can. We just can't get any more backpack slots. Okay, so... How does it want me to do this? Hmm... Because, I mean, there's no platform here for me to grab. I can't jump to it like this. If this was Paper Mario, I would say I send Cooper over there, but... That is what it wanted you to do, Chloe. It wants you to use Chloe for it. Not what I expected. Maybe there will be a part of this that uses each one of my character's abilities? Okay. Yeah, I thought Alfie made more sense, but yeah. Because you could actually target with Alfie, but... The way they were moving up and down, I was like, let me give Chloe a shot, and sure enough... Okay... Back this way... Yeah... Alright, I don't want you in the party, though, Chloe, for fighting. Chloe still leaves a little bit to be desired for fighting. Honestly- oh, how long has my mouse been there? Probably since I just opened the menu there. Honestly, for fighting, a lot of the characters that have, like, heals just aren't great. Or debuffs, because the debuffs aren't that crazy. Because Lint wasn't super useful because he was mostly centered around healing. And then, um... Let's use this. Loaf wasn't super useful, or Lint wasn't super useful because he was mostly centered around healing. And, um... Uh, sorry. Thinking. There we go. Um, Chloe wasn't super useful because she was mostly centered around debuffs. So... It's a lot. I did level up again. God, they give you so much XP. Is this just gonna be... Max Will? What even happens here? Now? Okay, it just doesn't give you the option. <laughs> That makes sense. So you just upgrade your stats at that point. So I maybe it's a tad bit over leveled. Not that the level ups like that really matter at this point. It's not like I'm ever truly running out of WP that much in a fight anyway. So. Not quite. Whee! And up. Mac. Uh. Oh, I see now. Wee. Okay. Dang. Apparently, the Ember Empire—they just gave those uh, grappling hooks out to everybody. Since it seems like you need them for traversal, or they're just things on the wall that you can grapple onto. Uh. Honestly, don't think I need the croissant. I mean, yeah, it could just be any kind of design thing that you could just grapple onto. They're probably just using that, so there's a little bit of consistency. Alright. Throne room. Oh. Yeah, you look different. Hello. Jester. I'm guessing that's Jester, and your spirit's about to possess the... King. Jester, stop. We gotta talk. Oh. Snap out of it, Jester. Quit it already, this isn't funny. He, he's trapped, we gotta wake him up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Jester? You, you want some Ember Claymore? How much does, will this actually do to you? Oh, nine damage. God, Ember stuff is busted. And then Alfie, I mean, can also just destroy you. Because I can do... Either of these. 
Well, you resist rock the boat, so I am gonna go for Dead Men Tell No Tales. This music's good, though. There you are. Ooh, that hurts. Okay. I mean, I am gonna, like, just totally obliterate you if I use the claymore. So let's mix in some other things. What's the laser pointer look like? Oh, it's this three times? Bzz. Bzz. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is pretty good, and the fact that it hits all enemies is pretty wild. So, I unfortunately do think I'm going to totally stomp you without without trying. Bonk. And now you have defense down. Nine damage is pretty high. Oh yeah, what'd my other um, special do? Create a devastating giant pie by tossing ingredients in it. Yeah, let's use this. Corresponding buttons to add ingredients to the pie before throwing it onto enemies. Okay. Okay, this is an interesting one. Also, that's a really stuffed pie. Only eight damage for all that, though? No way! I didn't even miss one! Oh my god, why would I ever use that? I mean, I'm guessing it hits all enemies, so that's... It's probably better when there's multiple enemies, but... That was a lot of work for only eight damage. I expected it to kind of destroy. God, why would you ever lean super hard into RP? It just doesn't seem like a good reason to do so. Like, at all. I've never even needed to tank with Loaf, because I remember at the very beginning of the playthrough, someone was like, oh yeah, you can make Loaf kind of tanky by using the roast thing, but I've never had to. I don't even put points in HP. There we go. Okay. And... I mean, I basically just kill you here. Bye, Jester. There has to be another fight after this. I love uh, Dub back there, his expression, though. Boom. Wee. Actually got more more XP from the enemies outside. Ah. Jester, finally. You gonna be normal for a bit? Huh? Alfie? Jester, look around. You've always hated it here. We made fun of all this. All our lives we couldn't wait to get away, and now suddenly you can't wait to come back? Why? Now this place, I'm not a prince anymore. I'm not anything. I hated being a prince. The endless talking about war, the boring ceremonies, the political doublespeak. Don't you remember all the times you fake sick to get out of a council meeting? That's why all those times I was letting Dad down, disappointing him. He always said I was a failure. Everyone did. A useless, lazy, good-for-nothing prince, and they were right. They're not. There's stuffy people in stuffy rooms with even stuffier thoughts, and your dad was the worst of all of them. You don't need him, you never did. We're rebels, remember? Do our own thing. I don't do this, they'll always be right. Everything they said will be true. No, it's not, Jester, it never was. You're a leader, you're strong and brave and always have the best ideas, and you have a giant-ass head. Jester does have a big head. Yo, Klein Sid, you kept us all together through all this. They're not mad? Of course not, we're your friends, you'll always have us. Come on, take my hand, we'll walk out of here together, like we should have done years ago. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling like that skeleton behind me is gonna do something. Jester. Oh no, please. You... useless, spineless, good-for-nothing brat. Oh, it's not. I tried, I swear. Right when I thought you'd finally do something right. Giving up, running away to your pathetic, wretched friends. Like always. N no I... I... Finish the spell. Do one useful thing with your worthless life. You... You knew it'd kill me. Finish the spell, boy, or I'll finish it for you. Why? Why would you make a spell that'd kill your son? Son worth keeping would do his duty to his father. Aw, oh, get out of here with your filial piety shit. Bring shame upon the entire- the whole Ember line. For a thousand years, we've ruled these lands with flame and steel. And you will ruin everything! Nothing is Jester's fault. The Sunstone blew up and destroyed everything. It's done is done. 
Insolent girl. Ooh. Stop. Don't hurt her. Alfie is... Alfie's my friend. She cares about me. Something you never did. How dare you raise your voice to me. I've spent too much time with these insolent dregs. I'll get rid of these bad influences once and for all. No, no, leave them alone. Maybe that'll teach you to show your father some respect. Oh, no, don't hurt them, please. Don't worry, Jester, we got this. I mean, I do have a black eye, but we can fix that. And now time for real boss fight, real final boss. Let's go. I am ready. Um, golden pear? I don't really need that much, but... Let's do a hearty fruit. I think that's good enough. Alright, so... Um... Oh, this music is good, though. Listen to this music! Black Dawn X? What does that mean? I mean, regardless regardless of my thoughts on everything leading up to this point, this is a pretty cool end, I must say. Even the final area was cool, with like, uh, the bits of puzzle solving that we had, and stuff like that, and it wasn't too long, didn't overstay its welcome, anything like that, and this is, this is a pretty cool final boss fight, you know? And at least we do have two fights back to back, so there's a little bit of difficulty in there with me having to actually heal, and stuff like that, but... The art and music and writing of the game, I think, is definitely where it shines. Some of the gameplay parts leave a little bit to be desired, but this stuff? Oh my god. Uh, kind of feel the need to defend. Okay, well that worked out for me. Um, rock the boat. You do have a cool design, too. I like how your mustache and beard and hair are made out of ember. Oh my god. Yeah, that actually hurt a lot. Okay, they're not messing around with this one. I mean, I'm still gonna do a ton of damage to you. But... Ember Claymore? But the fact that I can beat... Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, 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 you blocked that. The fact that I can beat the final boss having never even put points into HP ever is pretty wild. I mean, you could do similar things in, like, Paper Mario, for example, but that's with, like, very niche, weird, optimized builds. My build is not niche, weird, nor optimized, and I can still do this. Like, Peril Mario is a different thing than what I'm doing. So... Uh... Let's just... Rock the boat again. Boom. You do have a lot of HP. Ow. Yeah, that does hurt quite a bit. Um, I think I'm gonna have Alfie heal us next- next round, actually. Um, coffee scoop. What's my other, like, big damaging thing? I mean, I guess Blizzard Bow would be my next best bet. Boom. Bang. Okay. Uh, Ardent Beat? That's it, right? That's the one that heals me? No, I don't have the one that heals me. Uh-oh, it's still on that. Okay, so we, we do need to use an item then. Um... Turkey casserole on loaf. Okay, I could switch party members actually. Oh, that's the first time we've ever seen Alfie's, like, beat-up model. Look at it. Oh, no. Well, I can switch party members, so I'll probably just switch to Yagi here. Honestly. Cool. So... Oh, well, I can't. Never mind, no. I screwed it up. Um, we can just defend with you. Dunzo? Ungrateful brats. Yeah. Ungrateful this, you big palooka. As Donald Duck would say. Here you go. 
Bam. Boom. Did it. Yeah, I mean, at least that actually felt like a proper boss fight, so... You... I'm the Emperor, this cannot be. Jester, you'll never be a true prince. Good, I'm glad. It means I'll never be anything like you. I'm done with you. I'm done with this whole stinking awful place. I'm free. Yeah, we're gonna do our own thing from now on. I'm not good at battle yells, okay? That's what I can't do. Jester. He's passed out. The place is disintegrating. The Empire's dissolving. We did it. Jester did it! Hurrah! Uh... Only what happens if we're still inside the spell? Quick, back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oops, there went gravity. <laughs> Jester! Alfie! Thank goodness, quick. You can't hold this spell together much longer. All aboard to get the heck out of here, Express! Please be advised we're currently experiencing some otherworldly turbulence. That means belt up or face the consequences. Here we go! I did it. I wonder if this game will have a post-game. Possibly not? Probably not. We will see. Huh? Where am I? Round Dub's family's airship. Huh? That little guy? He doesn't have an airship. He does. It's pretty cool, actually. Thanks! What happened? Is it over? Yeah, it's over, buddy. Stop the spell and gave your dad a piece of your mind. You did great. I'm sorry about everything. Uh, you got nothing to worry about. Be sorry about, boss. Get some sleep, dum dum. Yeah, we'll talk it over when you wake up, eh? Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything. Whoa! Can't believe it's over. What's wrong, Yagi? I always thought when a quest ended, I didn't know there'd be a cool noise. Ooh, a medal or some treasure. I know what you mean. I feel like I had an A-plus on my assignment. Maybe something like this? That, yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Good 8-bit sound, too. Yeah, that's more like it. Ah, that's the stuff. Anyway, I bet when we land, Papa Baker will have baked us a whole celebration feast. No one mentioned food, eh? I thought it was straight up gonna go for a da 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 <laughs> for a second. I was like, oh, this has sounded pretty close, but nah. Yeah, and look at us, we're back. Hello. Let's do our RP walk. I've never done this the entire game. Hello. Ah, and this is the moment where I can talk to everybody! Yeah! Hey! I say, most excellent to see you, old chap! Congratulations on completing your quest, my boy! Fine work! Excellent work, old ch er, excellent stuff, old chum! Got a new project, too, you know, that whale we saw! Terribly old, by Jove, the things it's seen! Fascinating stuff, living history, we must simply document it. Think of the discoveries! Okay, can I go see everyone? Yes, we can. This is straight up my moment. This is the moment where you get to go talk to everyone throughout the entire game. Ugh, so many people came. Do I really have to apologize to everyone? This is gonna be so embarrassing. Thanks, though, for helping me write a speech. Got away with words. You asking me what I've been up to? Hey, your house. Are you finally going soft in the head, though, brains? Huh? Another adventure with me? Psh. Gotta be kidding. Uh, <laughs> is that a sequel tease? <laughs> Born and bred 2, we roll with Jester? Wait, really? I got six more months of community service to do before I'm off the hook, but yeah. Or like a DLC or something. That'd be fun. I really think I could be a hero, huh? Whatever, don't just stand there talking- stand here talking to me. Go catch up with your buddies. See you home later anyway. Thanks, love. Oh, Alfie! Why can't I speak with you, Queen? Queen! Okay. Hello. OMG, my parents are totally, uh, totally found out about me and Julio. Tragic. Where's part was they didn't seem to care as much as we thought. To be honest, it kind of took all the fun out of sneaking around. Yeah. Can I go talk to you? I cannot. Alright, what's down here? I'm telling you, warriors should be strong. We should hold weekly tournaments. Victory to the toughest builds character. 
The warriors should be well-rounded. People need to work on their weaknesses. We should do a series of challenges that test their limits. Well, I've come solve this for us. What would be the best way to test new recruits? See, you're saying teamwork is more important than the skills of any one warrior. You're right, Loaf. We should focus on uh, training that teaches the importance of friendship. Yagi. Yeah? You passed my friendship test. Hey, don't pull a pop quiz on a guy. Thanks for everything, Loaf, and if you ever got, uh, got another epic sa uh, world-saving quest, you better call us. By the way, I didn't talk to Professor Baker because I kind of assumed that, like, that'll end it, but let me see. So proud of you, my boy. We'll be calling you up uh, in a minute at the Central Square for the Queen's Speech. And all your friends are here. You probably want to talk to them first, mm hmm Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's talk to everybody, and then we probably tell you we're done. Oh, don't look, it's them. If we pretend we don't hear them, they'll go away. Are they still here? Yeah. Are they still here? Okay. Bye, Jesse and James. It was nice knowing you. Gladwin's still napping. Hello, Sid. Give me any service. They sent me to pick up trash from the beach. Thing is, though, those Professor Weirdos were there and they kept following me around asking loads of questions. I want to know all about the Empire, what we did all day, how stuff worked, even that we ate, even what we ate. I was interested at first, but then they showed me all the research and it was all wrong. I had to correct it. Did you hear? Alfie said she's getting our old band back together. Problem is, I used to play keytar, and I haven't been able to find one in this era. I guess if I can figure out how to build one from scratch, that'll make me the inventor of the most awesome instrument ever made. Gotta find a very small piano and add some straps. Okay, I can't talk to Klein. Interesting. Nice weather we're having. Quite warm, very sunny. Okay, that's it. Uh, talk to you. Things have been so much friendlier at the Savers Guild ever since number one left. Everyone's less worried about their leaderboard score, and suddenly the quest seems so much more fun. I wonder why. It's almost like number one terrified everyone into doing things her way. Try all these newfangled devices the Savers Guild gave us. Beeps that there's a new quest log nearby. Love telling my fans everything I'm doing. Hey, cool sickle crew. Snowstorm here. I, I thought the girl was talking again. Checking in Royal Plaza Festival. Alright. Bye-bye, all of you. Kids these days. Solving crisis, uh, crises and working together. Absolute respect to them. Not like in my day. We fought about our problems endlessly. Nothing wrong with healthy disagreement. That's what I say. Or unhealthy for that matter. I have said it better myself. Alright. Ah, uh, you two. Lane? Or no, Lamar. Hey, Loaf. Thanks for getting us down off that mountain. I take a little sip of my water. Yeah, I realize battle cards are so much easier than hiking. Problem is, she's getting much better than I am. Okay, and we couldn't go down or anything over there. No. Honey, my own business. Mm hmm. Okay. Nothing in here. Wait, what am I getting tired for? Oh, is it because I'm still beat up? I think it's because I'm still beat up. I think. That's why my expression is like that. What happens if we go down there? I don't think I want to find out <laughs> during this sick section. I think it'll screw something up. <laughs> okay, nothing in here. Talk to Dub. Loaf, loaf. Finally a full-fledged saver. Guild even offered me a job upgrading all the saver tech. Your IT, Dub. It's all thanks to you. The other savers started watching your battle broadcast. They finally see how popular it is. People don't have to wait months to hear the next installment of an adventure. They can watch it unfold live. There's a typo there in an installment. Next up, getting them to use anything more modern than quill and paper. You got a Montrego tech laptops and smart stones in no time. I always knew you'd do a little buddy. Thanks, love, for letting me be part of the adventure for a change. I really expected you to be my fourth party member, like you would awaken to a full hero or something. Alright, Helen Folk's adventures. Uh, adventure Tales has been a boon to the tourism industry, and no mistake. Taurus love a good story. Oh, Taurus love a good story. I've been sending the tourists out hunting for treasure, and now I have enough booty to buy a whole fleet of ships, you keen. Croc, take 10%. Okay. And look, yeah, so I wonder if you didn't do all the quests, if some of these characters wouldn't be here, because if I hadn't finished Lent's quests, you wouldn't be hanging out with them. And some of the other quests, like this one, is a little bit more of a side thing. Like, you could have finished the game without- I wonder if they just wouldn't be here. They- they would have to, not- right? Otherwise it wouldn't make sense. Thanks for helping me find my family, Loaf. Thank you for finding us, Loaf. I'm so glad our Lent has such wonderful friends. 
Oh, and Leif has been helping me write up our adventures. Leif like good story. Lento's big talent. It's been great to have someone to bounce ideas off of. When I can't remember what really happened, we just make stuff up. Probably tell you about the dragon you saved and the six princesses and your evil twin. You can read all about it? Here, I'll send you an advance copy. At least, first it was a book, then I added pictures and pop-ups in a dice system? Alfie says we should set it to music. The only thing is, I'm stuck on the title. Born of Bread? There's a lot of people here. Do we really have to go up on stage? Scary. It's called Born of Bread. Lynch straight up saying that they, they made the game. Cool. That's neat. Oh, wrong music. Uh, yeah, I think I walked into a specific, like, chunk, and it loaded the normal town music. Okay. Charlie and I are setting up a detective agency, specializing in magical and possible crimes. Chloe's crime-solving abilities and my magical detection inventions is a no-brainer. Leah's an excellent business opportunity. Children have so much talent. Charlie and I are setting up- oh, okay, nothing new. Interesting. Yo? Community service. My services are commuting with the spirit world. Oh yeah, and I've been working with Charlie Coldstock studying magic. He's got some interesting ideas. Magic in this world runs wild, untamed. Magic made the Empire both powerful and dangerous. I believe we may be able to use a modern invention called science to channel magic safely and use it for good. I'm not sure if it's possible, but if it is, I'd like to be a part of that. Okay. Well, hello again, young loaf. It's beautiful, yeah, but it's so warm down here. I'm rather looking forward to shoveling snow again. Okay, have fun. Nothing there. Money. I love me old bucko. You'll be first pleased to hear I've been made full sail scrubber. I'm singing pretty in the rigging every morning with the sun in me feathers and the wind in me back. Aye, aye, and I almost never scrub a sail. Lazy as a pirate, that's me. It's all thanks to you and your fine coaching. Yeah. Cool. Hello. And you? You pa, I was hoping to read about your quest in a failed transcript log. Crum, it's always next time. Sorry, we didn't fail our quest, nerd. Alright, you and the queen, I guess. So good to see you all to celebrate my big day as I graciously par pardon this lowly baker. Thank you, Your Majesty. Quite. I must also praise the efforts of a couple of, uh, children who amassed, unmasked the true unmannerly culprits. What do you scoundrels have to say for yourselves for so rudely interrupting my dinner? Ahem, yeah, so... Sorry for wrecking bits of town, for setting fire to several buildings, and for casting a spell that threatened to destroy the fabric of the world as we know it. Ahem. Uh, I won't do it again? Ahem. We won't do it again, promise? Right, guys? Sorry, hey. Uh, beg your pardon and all. It was a grave error and we apologize. Uh, yeah, our bad. Ahem. Oh, and we're sorry for our poor manners during dinner time. Yes, well, very well. Suppose that will do. Well, then the heroes need thinking next, hmm? Saver, convey my gratitude to the heroes. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the Queen, and the Guild of Savers wish to honor those who put their lives and vital glutens on the line to protect our beautiful city. For your heroic heroism, please accept full-fledged lifetime membership of the Guild and our highest hero accolade, your superstar hero titles. So do you, Lint, we grant you the title of Imagine Lad, the Creative Hero. Yagi, known as Quickfire, the Impulsive Hero. Chloe, for your snappy reasoning. Cluedo, the Detective Hero. I, <laughs> I was going with a thing at first, thinking that the Saver would, like, talk really fast, but no, this doesn't make sense anymore. It was funny to me, but we gotta stop. Alfie, you shall be Amp Up, the Harmonizing Hero. And of course, Dub. Me. Dub shall be known as Save State, the Backup Hero. <laughs> That's funny. I'm a hero? And last but not least, Loaf. Already known the world over as the Half-Baked Hero. You wish to make a brief speech, Half-Baked Hero? Uh-oh. What the? No, really, what the? What the? We have not come in peace. <laughs> what? What is this Silent Hill ending? That alien by the sewers wasn't joking. Submit the OS or prepare for annihilation. After all I went to, uh, after I went to all the trouble of not destroying this place, nah. -uh. Ready to kick some alien butt loaf? Oh, that was a, that was a cute ending. 
And that could definitely lead into like some DLC or like an update where you have a little campaign specifically with Jester, like it mentioned, where you defeat the aliens. That's funny. Okay, will be interesting to see if um, something like that happens, or maybe it really is a sequel tease. And we'll be seeing a Board of Bread 2 at some point, so... Alright! We hit credits. Thoughts on the game. Um, I feel like people probably know most of my thoughts here, but just to go over them all really quickly. Art, music, and uh, writing. Great. I love the art, music, and writing. It got the humor correct. The music was honestly phenomenal. I really want to get the soundtrack for this game. And the art was 10,000 million percent on point. Like, it's fantastic. Like, look at all this cute art here. It looks great. All of them getting ready for the war and everything looks fantastic. So, all of that, fantastic. The gameplay has issues, I would say. Um, I think the game starts off really strong sags in the middle and definitely at the end and then kind of comes back for that ending because the ending fight was at least more interesting than a lot of the other stuff I had done before that um, so that is good um, definitely bugs they fixed a lot of them they were they were dealing with bugs um, I know there were soft locks and things that I didn't run into I did run into that one unfortunate one um, obviously it's a small team so these things are going to happen they're on an island look at look at them Look at them, I gotta pay attention to these, like, photos. That's- that's neat. So they did actually defeat the aliens, cool. Um, but yeah, had some issues. There were, like, weird lag issues that happened sometimes. And, uh, things like that. Maybe that was just on my side, I- I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was a thing. And then, I definitely think... Balance. Um... I'm not someone that- that's like, oh, games need to be, like, crazy hard or anything, or need to be super punishing anything like that, but I do think the difficulty needed to be upped a little bit, just, as the, just so there would be more, like, thought that actually went into combat, because as it was now, you know, I basically just picked what the enemy was weak to, and that was kind of it. Usually they died in one hit. I was usually never in any danger. I didn't have to use my items that much. Things like that, you know? Um, like, comparing to, like, Bug Fables or something, because it's obviously the closest thing that I can compare this to, um, right now, because that Seahorse Saga game still hasn't come out, <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to that one, too. But, um, obviously comparing to something like that, Bug Fables definitely had difficult moments. I did play Bug Fables on hard mode, so that was a bit of it, but I still feel like generally Bug Fables is a little bit more balanced in the combat department. And luckily, I think that's something that can be fixed, and I know the developers are releasing updates and stuff, so I think this game could become better, and I think a lot of the gripes would be fixed if, like, you know, a lot of the bugs were ironed out, and they potentially buffed enemies, nerfed your characters, things like that. Like, getting crazy busted late game, fine, but I should have struggled a little bit more in the mid game, and I really wasn't. Like. I can't think of any other game where I could just basically put all of my level ups into MP and be, f like, totally fine and never have to worry about my HP. Like, I was shocked when I never had to put any points into HP, really. Um, I think I maybe put a little bit? And then I used badges, basically, to cover up the rest, the boons. Um, so... Yeah, that- all- all of that stuff aside, the balance and everything, I thought the weapon system was, like, super, super cool. It was a- it was a really neat way to do it. Just kind of having your character be a jack of all trades and your other party members have specialties, basically. That's another thing with the difficulty. I feel like the reason Alint and, like, um, Chloe were kind of weak was just because debuffs and heals weren't that needed. You didn't need to debuff your enemies. You didn't even need to heal yourself, usually. Um, you could just go through with raw damage. So if that wasn't the case those characters would be- I would appreciate those characters more. They would have more of a use. So, yeah, I think the weapon system's cool. I thought the boon system was pretty cool. Um, I still think RP is incredibly weak. Like, you'll have to make those skills do, like, way more damage or just have more use. It would be cool if each of your party members had their own special Two that also used RP. I really thought that's what the final skill in the tree was going to be, was that was going to be their RP skill, and each of, them, each of them had, like, one. But RP just, most of the time, felt useless to me. Like, I barely ever used it, and when I did, it was usually disappointing compared to my normal damage. 
So, yeah, those are my thoughts on the game. Would I recommend it? Yeah, and I think probably once it gets some updates and stuff, I would recommend it more. I would still say possibly hold off, because I think balance issues are definitely needed. The The bug fixes and stuff, those are coming out now and all of that. But um, as far as art and everything else goes, if you're just here for that and you don't really care that much about the combat anyway, I think it's totally worth it and I think it's a great game if you're just here to experience that part. If difficulty is not a big part of games for you, I think this is I think I think this is good, especially once they get some updates and stuff out. It nails a lot of the humor and stuff. Doesn't quite reach the heights of like bug fables, not not for me, but it's the closest thing I've played in a while. Um, so, yeah, always excited to see more games that try to uh, mimic this formula. And it's hard making games is hard. So, honestly, fantastic, fantastic props to the developers for delivering on this at all because the art and everything is fantastic. It, it really is what makes the game, so. Yeah, that's my little impromptu review and spiel out of the way, I suppose, so. Hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of Born of Bread. If you made it to this point, thank you, as always. I can't believe people listen to me talk for several, several hours. I don't know how they do. So, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for something new. <laughs>